Hey everybody, it's Neo and I have a drone here. This is by Saima and it's the X440 and it was a, it's called like a DIY drone. So it's one you kind of put together yourself. And so um, it came a little bit disassembled, but not hard at all. I'm gonna show you guys here as I open it up. You can see the box is empty here and it came with these two, uh, two boxes of items. So here I am opening up the first box and I'll show you guys what's inside of this one here. So this one here had the, I had already opened it a little bit and opened up some of the packages um, just to get some of the plastic uh, open so it would be easier for me to do. But you can kind of see there, There's it came with the manual and it came with these two plastic bags of things that I had just taken the stuff out of there. Um, I hadn't flown the drone or anything or connected it up yet, so I was very, beginning of it and you can kind of see here I needed batteries I needed some AAA batteries for it it also took four of them and I did not have those so I think I had to go inside and get them but um but then it came with these these um propeller um protector things so if you did want to fly it inside and hit up against the wall it won't chop up your walls which is kind of nice because I've used those with other drones but um I didn't put it on this one here because I was just playing outside and then in the other box, you see it came with, oh, in that first box, it came with the charger and everything too. So that's a little battery there that I'm holding up. Um, and then these are the four propellers that will have to stick inside of the um, inside of the body, which I will show in a minute. So you got the four propellers and the propellers with the arms and their motors. And then this is the controller, the center controller piece. And the propellers are gonna stick into that but, um, and the battery also goes into it too. So it's just a super small, cute little drone. Um, it doesn't have a camera or anything on it. It's just a drone to play for fun, but it's, it's super fun and kind of fast and, and good. And it comes with that little battery. It actually came with an extra battery too. So that was nice about it. And the battery just kind of clips in and then you can slide this little lever over to, to lock it in place. Um, you might be able to see it in the video a little bit. And then the little propellers, it's got four propellers, but there's, it's like two and two. So two of them will match up one way and two will match up another way. And I found, I, I think I'm going to show it here in a second on the video, but the way it goes into the unit is some of them have like a little jut out piece. And so it slides in to make it fit. Um, here I am trying to figure that out myself and completely lost. <laughs> but nah, but I figured it out. Um, but you can see this whole video is like a total of like six minutes or something. And in the process, I got it from opening the box all the way to flying it. So you'll see it's, it's a very easy to put together one. It's for like ages eight and up. So good for kids. And even though I'm way older than eight, I got it to work. Um, but here you can see I'm trying to fiddle with it here and put the propeller inside of the, the thing there. And it's got like a little button that you can kind of push to get it out as well as, as put it in. So when it slides in it will there I'm showing the little thing so it only it can only go in a certain way so you can't really put it in the wrong way so thankfully it does that so that there's two that go that way and two that go this other way here and then two of them have like little lights on it um or actually they all have lights on it some of them are gonna light up like white and some maybe yellow I'm colorblind so I can't tell the color but so that's really it. No drone is put together at this point. And then here I am. I've got some batteries. That's why I kind of stopped the video and restarted it again. But so I've got some batteries from inside my house. Um, I, still, I hadn't done anything else other than move the camera down. <clears throat> but you can see in that other box, it comes with extra propellers. It comes with some the wires to charge it and the extra battery. And then those propeller um, protectors and a little screwdriver, I think, for the battery compartment. But the battery compartment clips in, so I'm like, ah, I don't need to put that on yet. So I didn't screw it in. I don't really have little kids that are gonna eat a battery or anything, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. But see, I turned it on and it starts flashing like that, I'm trying to find somewhere to launch it from, because I'm just gonna try to launch it right from, right from the couch next to me. But you'll see it connects up pretty easy and quick as I'm pushing these buttons here. I'm just trying to figure out how to connect it and what I do. And pretty much when you just push the up button, it's going to go up. And there I am flying it and it's working. And I'm trying to do it well, looking kind of facing the camera, but and the remote sideways and the drone is going that way. So 
I'm no great drone flyer, but I'm just kind of playing around with it and seeing what I can do. But you can see it's flying there behind me and it's fun, it's easy, um, super easy to fly. I mean, you saw, I just put the batteries in and it's already working. I figured out the up and down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but then I was kind of going just around, you know, just around the backyard a little bit. I was a little afraid to take it too far, but then I decided to go daring and put it over the pool. So it's, as I was flying it over the pool, I got a little scared and went down low, but it was working and it worked really good. Um, totally liked it. So here you can just see I'm flying it around. Um, I was just risking it going ahead to see how, how much over the pool I can get without, uh, without scaring myself too much. The dogs didn't even mind it because it wasn't super loud or anything. It was a nice quiet drone. Um, I had had some other drones before that were just ridiculously loud and the dogs just go nuts. But they just wanted to play with me more than the drone at that point. And then here, I think I lost it. I was like, where'd it go? <laughs> but I did find it and it works good. So, oh, I think I ended up crashing it into the, into the wall. That's what it was. But I crashed it into the wall, but... It was still in great shape. Look at this thing. This thing's solid. And even though I didn't even have the propeller protectors on it, it still worked like a champ. So I'm just going to say it was really durable and good. See, I even gave it a thumbs up there. So I really like it. And I like all the lights and everything on it. It's just a nice, you know, nice good drone. So pick up one of these and you won't be disappointed. That's for sure. So definitely like it.